Okay, so we'll start with this and we'll try to get partial pressure, total pressure, etc. There's problem with Dalton's Law, there's usually no good problem solving method. Uh, the only thing I really tell you is just to start with moles and go from there, figure out something after that. Uh, in this case, since we want like partial pressure of helium, we'll want partial pressure of hydrogen, and we'll want total pressure. Moles might not be that bad of an idea because we know that, say, the partial pressure of 1 over the total pressure equals the moles of 1 over the total moles. This is one of the most common summaries of Dalton's Law. So, from grams I convert everything to moles. I can take care of the right hand side. And hopefully I can do something on the left hand side after I get that. Okay? And this is just one way of solving. You might be able to figure out another way. Uh, which is totally fine. So we'll go to moles. So you're going to go 1.0 grams of, and this is of H2, times, it's about 2 grams per mole. You could do it more accurately, but from your periodic table, about 2 grams per mole. And so this is going to be moles of H2, or about 0 0.5 moles of H2. Now I'll do the same for helium. Uh, helium is 5.0 grams of helium times, it's about 4 grams per mole. So, what's that? About 1.25? Okay, so there's helium and hydrogen. And note, this is moles of H2 and moles of helium. So, I could get total moles. These are the only two things involved. If I just add helium plus hydrogen, the moles. So, total moles equals the moles of helium plus the moles of hydrogen. Or 1.25 plus 0.5, 1.75 moles. That's total moles. So, as far as my equation I'm working on right here, I got the right hand side set. I know the individual moles of both of them and I know the total moles. So I'm fairly happy so far. Uh, my next step is, I think the next easiest thing to tackle is the total pressure. Uh, total pressure, we should have enough information to use uh, ideal gas law. So ideal gas law, if I write that down, PV, equals nRT, or I want to find the total pressure, is the total moles times R times T oops, divided by the total volume. So P total equals total moles 1.75. We got that. Good. R that's always a constant. We always have a R. 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Temperature, what did I write down? Did it say 20 degrees C? Uh, yeah. yeah. 20 degrees C, so I add 273 to that. 293 Kelvin. Wait, I use it. R, um, 08, um, 314. Uh, R, there's two R's. The other, other R you're thinking of is 8.3145. That's the one if I'm doing energy calculations. So joules, <coughs> if I'm doing kinetic energy or the root mean square velocity, I'll use that R. If I'm using the ideal gas law, I should use this R right here. Because this one's in liters atmospheres, which are common pressure volume units. Okay. And then I need to divide by volume. What did I write down as the volume? Five liters. Five liters. So this would give me now total pressure. And you have, should have everything to work it out now for yourself. So the two formulas you're going to use are the following. The 
uh, partial pressure of helium will equal the moles of helium divided by the total moles times P total, which you just found, P total. And then the partial pressure of hydrogen equals, I'll just write it this way, total pressure minus P helium. Because the sum of the pressures equal the total pressure. Okay? So you'll have to do the calculations, but is the solving method okay for everybody? Are there any questions?